ทุกท่านเราขอนะคะขอต้อนรับทุกท่านค่ะรวมถึงสื่อมวลชนนะคะในนามของสำนักงานเศรษฐกิจและวัฒนธรรมไทยเองประจําประเทศไทยนะคะร่วมกับสภาส่งเสริมการส่งออกแห่งไต้หวันหรือว่าไทยทรานขอต้อนรับทุกท่านค่ะเข้าสู่งานแถลงข่าวไต้หวัน AIoT Industry and Computex 2018ค่ะดิฉันพัชิตาวิทยาชัยอรุพันชีรับหน้าที่ในรายการในวันนี้นะคะ Good morning distinguished guests Media press, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Taipei's Economic and Cultural Office and Taiwan External Trade Development Council, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you. We appreciate your taking time out of your busy schedule to join us today. At this event, we have a representative from Thai Tra who will be share with us about AIoT development in Taiwan and the highlights of the computing. 2018, which will be held on June next year. In addition, we have invited executives from Delta Electronics and SIS Distribution to share with us on their experience and impression about the recent computex. We hope you will find the presentation we have lined up for you to be fruitful and engaging. To thank you. ในช่วงเวลาประมาณหนึ่งชั่วโมงกว่าๆต่อจากนี้ไปนะคะทุกท่านจะได้รับฟังข้อมูลเกี่ยวกับการพัฒนาในอุตสาหกรรม AIoT ของไต้หวันรวมถึงไฮไลท์ของงานวันนี้นั่นคือการแชร์ข้อมูลของไฮไลท์คอมพิวเตอร์ในปี2018นะคะแล้วก็เราได้ได้รับเกียรติจากผู้บริหาร2ท่านนะคะที่ท่านได้มีโอกาสไปเยี่ยมชมงานคอมพิวเตอร์ในปีที่ผ่านมานะคะท่านจะมาแบ่งปันให้ท่านได้รับทราบกันว่าที่ผ่านมานั้นมีอะไรน่าสนใจแล้วก็มีอะไรที่ท่านประทับใจบ้างนะคะจากสององค์กรยักษ์ใหญ่นั่นคือ Delta Electronics และ SIS Distribution ค่ะทุกท่านคะในช่วงนี้นะคะดิฉันขออนุญาตเริ่มต้นงานโดยการขออนุญาตเรียนเชิญนะคะมิสเตอร์เจสันชูผู้บริหารฝ่ายเศรษฐกิจนะคะสำนักงานเศรษฐกิจและวัฒนธรรมไทยปีให้เกิดขึ้นข่าวต่อทุกท่านคะ่ะ Now to kick off this morning program we are pleased to have Mr. Jason Chu Director, Economic Division, Taipei Economic, Economic and Cultural Office in Thailand, to the stage, Mr. Chu, please. Yes, very close to uh, Inner Lund. And thank you for coming. And distinguished guests and friends of uh, and on the press, ladies and gentlemen, and good morning, our Dikar. First, I want to welcome you for coming to join the, the press conference on the Taiwan Artificial Intelligence of Science, Industries and Computer Text 2018. And before we are going to the details, I want to touch the bilateral economic relations between Thailand and Taiwan. On the bilateral trade, um, we are very almost uh, equally uh, important each other. We are uh, Thailand's uh, third largest uh, trading partners. On the other side, um, we are uh, um, Thailand is uh, Taiwan, the 10th largest uh, trading partner. The total values to web trade reached uh, 9.3 US dollars in 2016. For two and 2017, we expect could reach the, a, a double digits uh, growth. On the bilateral investment and the com community's uh, investment by the Taiwanese firms and business people from uh, 2007 to, to 2016, among the, the 60, 61.5 billion plus excludes uh, financial and telecom uh, service uh, investment. This made uh, Taiwan, Thailand's uh, as the largest uh, foreign investor. The trade and investment relation is a uh, question of the economic partnerships between Thailand and Taiwan. I want to underscore uh, Hainan's uh, successful cooperation we have uh, developed. Uh, in the Asia the region and global supply chain, we could find a stronger willingness the uh, Taiwan uh, business to expand the cooperation with Thailand's uh, business. In turn, the industrial corp and structure and Thailand and Taiwan are very complementary. Therefore, we could uh, see the 
tremendous uh, business opportunities and uh, potential in our cooperation and um, production solution in global supply chains. There are no doubts a uh, win-win situation for Taiwan and Thailand's is, uh, cooperation is uh, emerged. Artificial intelligence has uh, already become and part of our daily life, and uh, new technologies have uh, been uh, gradually integrated into the Internet of Things. The cost uh, components and Internet of Things and connected with the sensor data and uh, robust will be lead to the requirement for almost the, all the time the device to become the smart and such as a smart machine and smart and learning machine. In other words, and the Internet of Things need to need uh, an artificial intelligence. The artificial uh, art artificial intelligence or the or the things at a, the forefront or the industrial four point zero. We believe artificial intelligence of things will provide Thailand and Taiwan with a new business and value added opportunity by collaboration into the ecosystem, including the semiconductor and communication, electronic components, smart vehicles, and medical care. We could see all our land and under the Thailand 4.0 radar screen. So we could find, and everyone is on board in the vehicles. So from time to time, we could find the artificial in intelligence or the things. It's the main drive of the Thailand 4.0 and the calling stone or the industrial 4.0 in Thailand. And therefore, um, the close the co Industrial cooperation or uh, an arti artificial intelligence or the things with Taiwan will be benefit the Thailand's business important help lens to connect the supply chain in the world. So the artificial intelligence or the thing will be changing the business uh, dynamic or the internet could be the reset the internet the architecture. I believe uh, and the instruction, destruction of the new technology, innovation, and uh, artificial intelligence of the things will be also to create a new market industries and new the cooperation relation with Thailand. In the past, the, the creation of internet opened the way to the e-commerce and uh, come in the uh, cloud computing and pad away or the, an app, APP, and also the uh, IoT, such as Uber and uh, Amazon, etc., etc. We be the, so in the future, and we believe uh, the arti artificial intelligence or scene will be no exception to this rule, open the way to create a uh, the entire the new market opportunities. And so what well, I want to uh, invite you to visit uh, Taiwan and artificial intelligence or the things, industries and computers text 2018 in Taipei uh, to expose your uh, business opportunity. So we are welcome you and uh, join a uh, see you and in the Taipei in June 2018. So today we are honored, we have uh, some excellent uh, presentation, including uh, representative uh, from Hytra, Delta, and SIS. We appreciate their contribution. And finally, I want to start here, and I wish you the, the even success. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Thank you very much, Mr. Chase. Proceed to the center of the stage as we will proceed on to the group photo section. Thank you very much. To Pan Ka, when he Mr. Jason Chu, they clap. They must have cruni. They call one up at Japan. Yeah.
AI เนี่ยได้เข้ามามีชีวิตได้เข้ามามีบทบาทในชีวิตประจำวันของเราได้มากยิ่งขึ้นนะคะรวมถึงในอุตสาหกรรมต่างๆซึ่งงานคอมพิวเตอร์เทคในปีหน้าจะมีขึ้นนี้นะคะก็จะเป็นงานที่มีรูปแบบของการเปลี่ยนแปลงของการมาร่วมจัดแสดงสินค้าที่เรานั้นจะเคลือบขับเคลื่อนเข้าไปในเรื่องของ AI มากยิ่งขึ้นนะคะแล้วก็โดยเฉพาะอย่างปัจจุบันประเทศไทยของเรานั้นมีนโยบายภายใน 4.0 ที่เราจะทำทุกอย่างให้กลายเป็นดิจิตอลมากขึ้นซึ่งน่าสนใจแล้วก็ตอบรับกับสถานการณ์โลกและปัจจุบันนะคะในโอกาสนี้เช่นขออนุญาตเรียนเชิญผู้บริหารรวมถึงแขกผู้มีเกียรติให้เกียรติขึ้นไทยภาพรวมเพิ่มเติมบนเวทีนะคะดิฉันขอเรียนเชิญนะคะ May I invite up on stage for the group photo session Miss Emilia Chu from Thai t r a v Please kindly join us on the stage May I have Mr. Curtis Ku from Delta Electronics kindly join us for the group photo. May I also have Miss Tiffany s h e n from t e c o We do have k o r e a r e n t a n Kun s o m c h a i s i t i c h a i s i r i c h a จาก SIS Distribution นะคะแล้วขอเรียนเชิญคุณเอกรัตสัญญากรค่ะ Trade Specialist จากไททาค่ะวันนี้นะคะเหมือนที่ดิฉันได้กริ่นไปตั้งแต่ช่วงแรกนะคะว่าเราจะมีาการแบ่งปันในเรื่องของไฮไลท์คอมพิวเตอร์ในปี2018ที่จะมีขึ้นในเดือนอมิถุนายนนะคะว่าในปีนี้นั้นเขามีแนวโน้มในการจัดงานไปที่ทางไหนอะไรที่น่าสนใจและเป็นไฮไลท์สำหรับปีหน้าที่จะเกิดขึ้นบ้างนะคะแล้วก็เรายังมีแขกผู้มีเกียรติสองท่านนะคะซึ่งท่านนั้นเป็นผู้บริหารจากองค์กรไอทียักษ์ใหญ่นะคะที่ท่านเคยได้มีโอกาสไปเยี่ยมชมงานคอมพิวเตอร์เทคในปีที่ผ่านมาแล้วทุกท่านก็อยู่กับเราสเตจูนไว้นะคะกับไฮไลท์ออฟคอมพิวเตอร์เทคสองพันสิบแปดนะคะดิฉันขอเรียนเชิญนะคะมิสเอมิเลียชีรองผู้ในการฝ่ายงานแสดงสินค้าไทยทราให้เก็บที่แบ่งปันข้อมูลเกี่ยวกับอุตสาหกรรม AIoT ในไต้หวันรวมถึงไฮไลท์ของคอมพิวเตอร์เทคสองพันสิบแปดจะมีขึ้นในเดือนมิถุนายนค่ะ Now let's begin the first presentation for today Please welcome Miss Emily Chu the Beauty Executive Director Exhibition Department from Thai Tra Chu will present about Taiwan AIoT industry and share the highlight of computing 2018และเซ็นโปรไม่ต้องเป็นชีวิตค่ะเ
we have uh, about 10,000 uh, uh, startups in, in, in France. Yes. Uh, very, it's a very innovative country, and to be able to show some of the startups here uh, in Taiwan is very, very interesting. So that's why we choose to participate in this place. Innovex was a very great um, event, especially like if you then carve out a small space for a conference, right, where you focus on startup and innovation. This is very important for the country to flourish in the next couple of years. Now you have a better idea about Computex. Uh, today my presentation will cover two parts. Let me start with Taiwan AIoT industry. For years, Taiwan has been widely recognized as a manufacturing powerhouse of global ICT products and devices. Yet, in face of cutting profit margins and intensive competitions from new entrants, Taiwan has been starting to reinvent itself as innovation hub in Asia by launching Asia Silicon Valley Development Plan. The main goal of this plan is to link Taiwan with global tech clusters and to develop new strategic industry for the next era. The plan consists of two pillars. One is to promote the disruptive IoT application in Taiwan, and the other is to build the startup ecosystem in Taiwan. In recent years, Taiwan has been moving rapidly toward a digital economy. As you can see in the slide, the penetration rate of PC, smartphone, digital TV, and even social media subscribers are quite high on this island. In business sector, there are more and more Taiwanese companies dedicated to cross-border e-commerce and cloud computing technology. With the cutting edge of high quality manufacturing process and yield rate, highly educated engineer, and IP right protection, as of the year, there are 47 multinational tech companies such as ARM, IBM, Dell, Microsoft, setting up 65 innovation and in R&D centers in Taiwan. For years, most of Taiwan ICT companies are dedicated to OEM and ODM business model. In this slide, you can note that Apple's iPhone, iPad, Google's Chromebook, Amazon's Kindle Fire, and even gaming consoles of Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo are all made by Taiwanese EMS such as Foxconn, Wistron, Compo, etc. To be in line with the global technology trends, Taiwan ICT companies are transforming from hardware suppliers to IoT solution providers. Seeing the enormous global IoT market revenue, 
Taiwan ICT and semiconductor companies are very proactive in forming IoT ecosystems and participating in global IoT standard alliances such as Open Interconnect, Great, OSIN, etc. To leverage the manufacturing capability and to outsource the innovative AIoT solutions, more and more Taiwan leading electronics and ICT makers like Foxconn, Wistrom, and Conco are investing quite a lot in startups. On the other hand, the government funded Taiwan Rapid Innovation Prototyping League for entrepreneurs, code as triple, also helps bridge global startups with Taiwan OEM ODM suppliers to make <coughs> their innovative ideas and concepts to become true, to come true. After the successful launch of 4G in Taiwan two years ago, the four, tel the four major telecom operators in Taiwan have formed strateg strategic alliances with global partners such as Nokia, Ericsson, Intel, and Qualcomm to develop 5G technologies in Taiwan. According to IHS market research report, 5G represents an outstanding opportunity for Taiwan. Taiwan's 5G value chain is expected to output 134 billion US dollars in 2035. According to government forecast, 8.4 billion connected, connected things will be in use worldwide in 2017, 31% up from 2016, and will reach 20.4 billion by 2020. Total spending on endpoints and services will reach almost two trillion US dollars in 2017. In IoT hardware segments, Taiwan is quite strong in the production of IoT semiconductor such as sensors, high performance servers for data center, embedded PC for industrial IoT, and even all types of wearables for collecting data. Foreseeing the potential of IoT vertical sectors and capability of R&D in Taiwan, several global tech giants like Intel, R, Microsoft, Siemens have formed ecosystems with domestic partners to develop the global and domestic IoT business. For instance, Intel just announced five new IoT pilot projects with Taiwan ecosystem partners in manufacturing, smart factory, smart building, smart transportation, in this case, new bike, and smart cities. ARM is a world-leading semiconductor IT company. The global market share of ARM-based chips reaches over 80%. To strengthen its cooperation with Taiwan ecosystem partners, ARM established its world-class CPU design center in Taiwan, the first one in Asia. Targeting at the design, verification, and delivery of this Cortex-M processor series for IoT, wearable, and embedded applications. Worth mentioning, Microsoft, a world-leading software company, just set up IoT Innovation Center in Taiwan last October to develop innovative IoT technology applications and to bridge Taiwan IoT solution providers with ASEAN ecosystem partners. In Asia Pacific region, Microsoft ecosystem partners consist of 370 partners, including 50 partners in Taiwan. Another notable example is Siemens, a world leader in smart manufacturing. Siemens has signed MOU with Taiwan government to assist Taiwan manufacturing sectors in moving toward Industry 4.0, which facilitates the automation and data exchange in manufacturing technologies through cyber physical system, IoT, cloud computing, and cognitive com computing. <coughs> the vertical and cross-industry IoT applications also have created new opportunities for Taiwan semiconductor and ICT companies. For instance, TSMC, MediaTek, Advantech, 
Delta today we have the representative from Delta here also. Lights up, have built layer on IoT platform and formed ecosystems with their partners to expand their IoT business. Later I will show you another video to explain better the AIoT development in Taiwan. The global artificial intelligence is expected to reach over 35,000 million by 2025 from its direct revenue sources, growing at a compound average growth rate of 57.2% from 2017 to 2025. Tech giants like Google, IBM, Amazon, Yahoo, Intel, Apple, Facebook, Baidu are competing in the race to acquire private AI companies. Over 250 private companies using AI algorithms across different verticals have been acquired since 2012. Regarding the current status of AI development in Taiwan, Taiwan's government has announced plans to invest 527 million in developing the country's artificial intelligence capability over the next four years. The plan includes setting up AI research labs in southern and central Taiwan science parks, incubating AI talents, integrating AI into business and industrial sectors, developing smart robotics. In addition to the government support, it is worth noting that two outstanding Taiwanese tech leaders, Jensen Huang, founder and CEO of NVIDIA, and Ethan Du, founder of PPP and once principal software engineering, engineering manager in Microsoft, also devote themselves to boosting the AI technology in Taiwan. Ethan Du just launched this year self-founded AI lab in Taipei to attract the best Taiwanese and foreign AI talents to develop end user solutions. NVIDIA, a world-leading AI computing company based in Silicon Valley in the United States, is teaming up with Taiwan Ministry of Science and Technology for extensive AI partnership in the aspects of creating the first AI-focused supercomputer, training AI developers, establishing AI research centers and AI labs in the universities, and even incubating AI and big data startups, and providing high level of internships for doctoral students and so on. Now I finished my first part of the Taiwan AI OT industry. Now I will move on to the second part of my presentation, the preview of Computex 2018. I want to share with you the highlights of this world's leading ICT, AIoT, and startup trade show, which will take place from June 5 to June 9 next year in Taipei. Computex debuted its first show pass in 1981, based upon the ICT supply chain in Taiwan, and the announcement of new technology and new products by key exhibitors the show always keep drawing global attention. In the past three years, Computex hosted 1,600 exhibitors from more than 30 countries, attracted more than 40,000 of international visitors from over 170 countries, and over 1,500 media from worldwide per year. Entering its 30th year, Computex transforming itself to be in sync with the global technology trends. In the global ICT industry roadmap, Computex has gone through the eras of PC, internet, mobile computing, and now moves towards the era of IoT, artificial intelligence, VR, AR, and MR. Different from the other ICT trade shows, Computex is the best platform in Asia to showcase the latest technology, to source the new products and solutions, as well as to seek for partners. It is a comprehensive ICT trade show displaying from ICT supply chain to IoT ecosystems, showcasing from hardware devices to software solutions, ranging from global brands to global startups. 
attract team from sales channel partners. And now we are trying to attract system integrators and investors. Computex has repositioned itself as building global technology ecosystem since 2016. The main themes of Computex 2018 will focus on AI and robotics, IoT applications, 5G, innovation and startups, blockchain, gaming and VR. To echo the main theme, the show will feature three existing areas. The first one is Smart Text, where you can experience AIoT vertical applications. And the other one is Innovex, where you can meet up with global startups, investors, and find your manufacturing partners. iStyle, where you can find the stylish Echo MI certified accessories and peripherals. In SmartPex exhibit, hundreds of system integrators and solution providers will showcase the AIoT vertical applications in the sectors of security, healthcare, wearable and sports technology, vehicle to everything, smart tech solution, AI and smart home. Our target visitor for smart techs are the system integrators, construction builders, hospital, healthcare centers, telecom operators, and so on. In Innovex exhibit, you will meet up with over 300 excellent startups from around the world. Beyond this play, you will have the chances to enjoy a series of events including startup demos, pitch contests, forums, startup tour to visit Taiwan startup ecosystems, and workshops. In iStyle, you will feel yourself working in the boutique of Apple MFI certified products. To satisfy the different needs of exhibitors, buyers, and media, Computex will be packed with various events and activities, including opening ceremony, international press conference, forums and seminars, startup demos and pitches, and VIP networking, and so on. During Computex show period, 100 sessions of forums and seminars will be held by the show organizer, Hytra, and its partners. Among those forums and seminars, CPX Forum is the most remarkable one to share the latest ICT industry and insights. In the past years, we invited dozens of senior level of business leaders from global tech giants to be speaker for CPX Forum, such as Qualcomm, Broadcom, NXP, IBM, Dell, Amazon, Nvidia, Intel, Microsoft, Siemens, and ABB, and many more. The main thing of CPX Forum at Computex 2018 will be ubiquitous intelligence by highlighting the topics of AI and robotics, 5G, blockchain, <coughs> autonomous driving, IoT+, Plus, and biometric system. Tetra organize, also organized Innovex Forum in Innovex exhibit, while the forums hosted by our partners include Intel E21 Forum, Microsoft Forum, NVIDIA AI Forum, and Siemens, Susten and Siemens Sustainability Summit. Before concluding my presentation, I would like to invite you all to enjoy another video clip of Taiwan Smart Your Life to let you know better the IoT solution provided by the leading Taiwan ICT companies. One second, we play the video.
I conclude my presentation today. I sincerely invite you all to visit Computex next year and hope to see you soon in Taipei again. Sabatika. <laughs>